I wanted to take a quick second tell you that we're gonna go to my parents house for dinner which we are going to eat hamburgers or hot dogs or something I got myself some gluten-free English muffins which I hope are gonna be good with a hamburger I'm really sad that I can't have cheese but I'm gonna be strong for you guys so holding me accountable and I'm gonna take you along with me to my parents and share some of our family fun with you I hope everybody had a really great weekend and they feel refreshed I am about to start my uh, sweat it to shred it on Monday I have meal prepped I've made myself some healthy desserts so that if I get a sweet tooth or want something with a lot of peanut butter in it I have these peanut butter cups with strawberries and I'll show you guys I also meal prepped chili and then after we get back tonight I'm going to prep some sesame chicken like you guys saw in that last video I'm going to prep egg roll in a bowl there's all kinds of options that I found on Pinterest that are whole 30 paleo um, you know, gluten-free, dairy-free. We're not really doing Whole30, but it's easy to fall in line with that and an easy way to search for meal options if you say Whole30 because Whole30 is wheat and gluten-free and dairy-free. We worked on cleaning the house today. I went to the store and I bought a lot of stuff to do meal prepping with. Quinn has started his working out yesterday and for his, you know, fitness goals and I am starting a new program on Monday and so I wanted to meal prep so that we both have something to eat that's in our diet in our lifestyle and I'll show some of that to you guys I might not be able to like vlog the entire making and cooking and storing and all that but I may just get to show you kind of the start of it and then a little bit in the middle and then the finished product since I'm gonna have so many meals to do that would be like a 45 minute long video but let me know if you guys would see any like to see anything like that. I want to give you guys content you want to see. And if you guys have any meal suggestions for us, we'll take them. A lot of the stuff that I do, I find on Pinterest. And it just, you know, I just do a general search. But I would love to see meals that you guys have tried and recommend to me. Uh, I made a peanut butter dessert and I left it in the house. Works there. I'm not sure. Look at that face. Like, oh, well, <laughs> a gluten free I probably do. English muffins for a bun, and these are our potatoes we are air frying. I think you probably you didn't know. Hey. Mm. Are they hot? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Got me a. Hamburger, no cheese, with some french fries. My dad has a problem. They're hanging out, watching the television. And so we're gonna have some coffee and some peanut butter cups for dessert. And I am gonna work on editing my video for next week. I also, we cleaned the house. Well, Quinn cleaned the house today. He did such a good job. That's not fair. Ooh, look how clean. So clean it is. So we are going to enjoy the rest of the evening and just stay in and try not to <sighs> eat anything we shouldn't. Hey 
sit down and kind of decompress with you guys since I'm not feeling well today and skincare usually makes me feel better since I feel clean and refreshed and not so gross and dingy I feel a little more apt to go out and do something or you know get up in the house and I'm not lounging and feeling sick and pitiful for myself so Today I am sequestered to the house. I don't know that I'm sick sick, but this entire weekend I was very fatigued and nauseous and I just decided to take today kind of like regroup and so I just wanted to take a minute and sit down with you guys and share about my skincare routine. Also, a little disclaimer, my face is kind of red because I did a scrub since I'm sick, I like to kind of detox and cleanse my skin really well. And so I'm just red from the grainy. So first, I wash my face in the shower with Tatcha. This is the Deep Cleanse, and it is just a cleanser that I like to use. It's really kind of like fresh smelling. It almost makes me think of tea or green tea. I know that this brand in general is considered to be expensive, and granted that this is $52, I have had it for like three months and I haven't had to replace it. So I would highly recommend this as a cleanser and I think that it's worth the splurge in my opinion. So because I wanted to like detox my skin and do a good scrub to kind of refresh it, I like to use the MAC Mineralize Volcanic Ash Exfoliator. I looked online and wanted to find a microdermabrasion I could do at home since a lot of times you would have to have an esthetician to do your microdermabrasion or some other professional but I wanted something that I could do at home because I don't want to pay for that service yet. It's really really gritty and it's black. There's a little bit left on the caps. Usually, today I didn't do it because I knew that I was going to vlog this, um, usually I will pat my face partially dry before I do it. So like I'll just reach out of the shower and grab my towel and just I'll pat a little bit on my forehead and on my cheeks um, to take a good bit of the moisture away so that, that really gets gritty in it. But my face becomes very, very red when I do that. So today, because I know that I was gonna vlog, I just did it over the water in my face in the shower. And it still gets red, but I just feel like it's really nice and you can only do this like three to four times a week I don't maybe three two to three so for my regular everyday moisturizer I actually get this from the grocery store it's just a vitamin E skincare cream I buy mine in a two-pack and it lasts me forever I cannot tell you when I bought this but it's just, it's got a ton. It almost looks like I don't even use it. And I put a lot on my skin, which is why I'm super shiny. But I like to use this. It soaks in really, really well. It sits well under makeup. I just love it. I'm traveling. I like to use some sort of traveling scrub. It's like the cleanser and the scrub all in one. And I use St. Ives. And I just find this at the grocery store as well. I don't have to, you know, search or order this online. This just helps me have something all in one. It's really, it's not super abrasive and it's pretty gentle on the skin, but, and it, and it cleanses at the same time. So I really like this to travel with so I have less to pack. Sorry if I look different all of a sudden. I actually just went and finished my lunch and I am actually still eating it some, but um, you will have seen the post on Instagram that I made from my lunch today, which was actually a vegan kale and potato bowl. I swapped out regular potatoes for sweet potatoes just because I think they're better and I had one in the fridge, I had a half. But, um, so that's why the lighting may be different in this section. Um, it's about an hour later. I stopped in the middle of my filming. So I just wanted to pick up and finish on. And care routine is using masks which I actually asked for a bunch of them for Christmas this year. And I got a couple from Quinn's mom. I got some from my mom. So I was just gonna show you guys what I do. And all of them just depend on what I feel like my skin needs in the moment. So I have used each of these at least once. And I try to use them maybe twice a week. 
just because when I first got them, I used them almost every day and then I got an awful breakout, probably because either it was pulling it out or it was irritating my skin. I'm not really sure, but I'm not looking to do that again. So the first one I have is Peter Thomas Roth and it is the Rose Stem Cell Face Mask. Hydrating and calming and kind of take away the redness on the skin. I have not really seen the redness go away, but I do have self-diagnosed rosacea. So I probably wouldn't see it without changing my diet drastically, which is what I'm working on now. Second is the Peter Thomas Roth Hungarian Thermal Water Mask. I don't think you can use it very often. You have to remove it quickly and whenever you put it on, you know that it's working when it starts to heat up on your face. Okay, so the next one, which is probably my favorite, only because I like, I like to feel like it's like drawing things out of my skin and this kind of looks cool when you have it on. Um, this is the Irish Moore Mud Mask. But for this one, it draws out impurities in your skin and it's really good for evening your skin tone, reducing your fine lines and wrinkles. And like I said, this is just my favorite because it's kind of cool to think about it, like drawing out toxins from my skin. Next is the 24 karat gold mask. And this one's really well, really good at lightening up your skin and kind of giving you a good glow. Uh, that's really the only thing that I've seen from it. It says that it lifts, firms, brightens, soothes, refreshes, and energizes the skin. Next is the cucumber gel mask. And this one is intended to cool and soothe. It's very jelly-like and it smells pretty good. I'm not a huge fan of cucumber, but this one's really, really nice. And it just has a lot of good whole ingredients. Aloe, lemon, orange, maple, pineapple, papaya, cucumber, chamomile. This one seems pretty calming and I just like the way it goes on your skin and it feels so smooth and it kind of like plumps you up. Pumpkin Enzyme Mask says that it reveals smoother and younging, younger looking radiant revitalized skin. This one you can only use one to two times per week just because of the really grainy aspect of it and you don't want to scrub your skin too much. You can kind of damage it. So this one's good for maybe, I would probably recommend like Friday night so you have good fresh skin on the weekend and Monday morning so that you have good skin for work. And then the other masks that I got, these I got from Quinn's mom for Christmas. And these are the kinds that when you put them on, it has like the face piece. So I have three of them left. I actually had probably like six or seven. And these are really good if you want some thick hydration. The ones that I haven't gotten around to using yet. But just because like when you decide you want to use these, you have to have time to leave them on. And sometimes I like to use a toner under my skin or on my skin before I put on makeup. I usually only will use this and you can tell by the fact that I haven't used much. I've had this for like two months. But I only use this when I feel like I have a really bad breakout or if my skin is extra oily. Just because a toner can really dry you out if it's alcohol based. I just got it for the intent of cleaning my skin whenever it's very dirty. I am about to go to the Minute Clinic because I think that I'm sick. I'm not really sure. My throat and my neck hurt and my Left note over here is a little bit swollen. My neck's a little swollen. My ears hurting. My mom and um, Quinn kind of think that I should just go to the Minute Clinic and make sure it's not like a sinus drainage that's causing the pain on this side. But, um, so we'll see. And I, this is day two that I have been sick and I just kind of want to figure out what it is and get back to work and get back to feeling better, so. Okay, I am back from the dentist. I have TMJ, mild TMJ, which is kind of okay. I found my keys and get into the house. Apparently all I can do is take some Advil and to cure the pain, we've got to get a new door. But she said other than that, just try not to drink or eat anything that's um, super hot or hard or cold, so no ice cream, which I don't eat anyways. 
and no coffee for a little while. And then she said try to eat soft foods and then I should be fine. They said that it had to do with like the grinding in my teeth and that I wasn't sleeping well, which I totally agree with because I know that since I had gotten in that weird groove where I was drinking coffee at night, I wasn't sleeping well. And they said that it can be inflamed just because of some sort of stress or stressor. And it makes sense because for like two weeks I hadn't been sleeping well and I guess that just kind of makes sense for why that happened and I'm sure that's what it is. So I'm gonna try and not drink coffee for a little while to ease the pain in my jaw and probably I might sleep better, especially if I don't drink it at night, duh. So, like because I was sick yesterday, I didn't work out or start my Sweat It to Shred It program like I had planned and I'm wondering if I need to go to the gym tonight and do Monday's workout and not have that rest day for Tuesday since for the first few weeks you don't work out Tuesday and Thursday. It's just Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I guess, to get you in the groove. So I'm thinking I might need to just suck it up and I think my body will be fine and just go to the gym and do my Monday workout and then tomorrow I'll pick it up with Wednesday so that I'm not behind, I'm still on schedule and hopefully I will survive. Hey guys. But I decided to work out at home and I'm looking at myself. I'm do it does not even do me justice in the viewfinder. I am dying. I There's like seven steps to the first day of the Sweat It to Shred It. And you do six turns of each for 30 seconds. And I am literally only done with number four out of seven. I am beat. So as you can see, I have my back door open. I don't know if it'll focus for that. I have my back door open and my front door open hoping to get some cold air in and I turned off our heat and I'm dying. I, I know her biggest motto is listen to your body so I am just sitting down for a second. I did my 30 second recovery in between one, two, three, and four and I am having to take a couple of minutes before I head on to the last three because um, my arm's shaking, so I'm sorry if the camera shakes. So, I just knew I needed to catch my breath, and I figured it's kind of good to be raw and real on my channel, so you guys know, even though I work out, apparently I don't push myself too much. And another thing that she always, Sarah Stevenson um, of Sarah's Day, another thing that she always says is that once it's written down, you have to do it. And so, I am being committed and I'm going to finish this Monday and about, well for y'all it's going to be another second, but for me I'm going to pick up the camera when I'm done and let you guys know how I'm doing after I finish the entire thing. Hopefully my arm is just like shaking. I gotta catch my breath. Okay. I think I've sat down for long enough. It's probably been like three or four minutes and I'm going to do five, six, and seven and I'll probably be dead, but I'm gonna get back on the camera and let you guys see what it looks like. So I just finished the Monday for Sarah's day, sweat it to shred it. And I've got my aligners back in, which is why I sound extra slurry, but I am dripping. I mean, I'm even sweating on my forearms and my chest everywhere but I needed to stretch and I needed to also give you guys an update on how this ended up I am dying I would highly recommend this <laughs> just based off my first impressions already I really like it and I feel like it's gonna challenge me more than I'm willing to challenge myself by myself in the gym I just feel like I'm gonna get more out of it following a program rather than trying to come up with this stuff myself. Even like following people in the Instagram and YouTube world, I feel like this is better tailored to something that everybody can do. Man, I really like it. I mean, it definitely pushes you like 
the first set I know I can't really disclose what's in it but I'm you know I think I'm fine to say a few things so there's a lot of lunges and squats and whatnot and you run through each set six times and my legs are jello and the last set that was you know where you squat or you use your your hamstrings and your glutes I could hardly get myself up I just really enjoyed you know getting to push myself and I know it's probably annoying listening to me you know die and breathe but I wanted to be real and show you guys that it does push you and it is difficult but honestly even though I'm like my body's tired I feel energized from it and I think that's true about all exercise I think that it really stimulates you and energizes your body I'm gonna finish up my stretching and I hope you guys have a great week this is gonna be the end of my this vlog and the next one I should have two days two more days of her sweat it to shred it in there and also on Saturday which will be in my next vlog we're gonna go hiking again so I'll have some of that for you guys since part of her program is doing activities outside and not staying home all weekend so I am going to finish up my stretching hope you guys have a really great week and I'll see you guys on Sunday